Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. This is the Commodore VIC-20. In the previous episode, we fixed the power supply. We had to strip all the gubbins out of it and make sure it worked. Otherwise, it would have blown up half the microchips in the VIC-20. The next episode, we found ourselves repairing the cassette recorder and then we actually were able to play games. One thing we haven't done yet is get inside the VIC-20 itself and have a mess around with it. The other thing that we haven't done is actually create a cable, something like this one here, in order to take the composite output from the VIC-20 and go directly into the TV, which will produce a much clearer picture than using... <laughs> than using one of these, which is an RF modulator. So without further ado, let's create the cable and let's bust open that VIC-20 and have a look inside and see how it works. Okay, folks, I'm doing some of the prep work up front. So what I've got, I found a couple of old uh, phono type cables here and I found an old uh, five pin DIN, 180 degree five pin DIN connector. Right, let's get this five pin DIN taken apart. So one of the common mistakes that I tend to make with, whoops, with these five pin dins is I always leave the rubber boot off. <laughs> it's so annoying. And I end up having to try and find a way to get the rubber boot on afterwards, normally by cutting it down the side with a Stanley knife or something silly like that. Anyway, let's get this five pin din apart, remove all of the existing cables from it. And then what we can do is we can fit these new cables here. So the five pin din generally tends to disassemble by pulling the front out like that. So then a pair of helping hands is always useful. Not only that, but um, a pair of eyeglasses is, is useful as well. Boink, boink, and then the last two should pull out by hand. Yep, and finally, the white there we go one empty din now the good news is all of the numbers are normally written on the plug connector here so we know how to set this up now remember <laughs> remember to make sure that you push your cables through this sleeve <laughs> before soldering everything up. Ground is the middle so we'll pop ground into this connector here. In you go. There she is. Lovely job, well done. And then we've got audio and video. So in theory that should do the trick. Ground in the middle, audio and video. So now we need to add the structure, which is this piece of metal here. And then we can take a pair of pliers and we can just carefully squeeze that cable and lock everything nicely in place. Once that's done, we should then, with a relative confidence, to be able to push the plug back in side the housing and do up the screw with a little bit of luck we have just made a composite video cable for the vic 20. let's test it let's plug in the phono connectors there we go one is video and the other one is audio Okay, the next thing clearly is to plug our five pin DIN into the port on the back of the VIC-20. There she is. And there we have it, folks. <laughs> Composite working. Happy, happy days. In amongst my various different bits of kit, I had a VGA to HDMI adapter. I also have here whoops, a little mini upscaler 1080p so this converts composite video to HDMI we're going to plug into this and 
we are going to plug into <laughs> something that's way back there. It's called an Elgato HD60. Uh, so this will give us the ability to be able to capture this in full high def, 1080p, 60 frames a second. So we'll plug all of this in and we'll get that VIC-20 fired up on the main screen. And actually, I think we're going to play a few games with some friends on Twitch tonight. So let's take this VIC-20 apart. Let's have a look inside her and see what's going on. So we've got three screws at the front of the keyboard underneath the unit that require removal. Once you've removed those three screws, the keyboard assembly lifts up and very carefully, if you pull that towards you, you can then separate the keyboard from the main body. There's a couple of connectors in here that we're gonna to have to remove. One is the LED connector, which is just here. And that just pops off, it's a little connector. And then the other guy is right here, which is a large keyboard connector. Again, that should just slide off with a little bit of gentle persuasion. And there it is. And do take note of the orientation. That said, there is actually a pin blanked off on this connector so you can't get it in the wrong way around. Now something to note about the VIC-20 keyboard, it has a latching caps lock button which is this switch right here. But what an incredible looking keyboard. <laughs> the, the cable on this keyboard is an absolute spider web of manual cable. It's not a ribbon cable, which is what you'd normally expect, but it's been assembled manually. So that's really quite interesting to see. Anyway, let's get away from the keyboard and let's get inside this VIC-20. Let's have a look in here and see what we've got going on. So the first thing we'll notice is there is a MOS 6502 CPU. And then here we have a 901486-07, <laughs> which again is a MOS chip. And this guy holds the kernel. And then this here is the basic ROM. Again, another MOS chip. There's a few logic chips and a few bits and pieces. And right here, this is where the VIC chip lives. I'll pop the lid off that in just a second so you can see it. And then here we've got another MOS chip, which is the character ROM chip. And then over here we've got two more MOS chips, which are the interfaces to the keyboard and also the tape deck. And then we have here some RAM chips. And as we know, these RAM chips only hold 5K of actual memory. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go over this PCB with a bit of a fine tooth comb and check that everything is in good shape. And the other thing I should do is replace all of the electrolytic capacitors on here. There's a large power supply smoothing capacitor here and a few other bits and pieces. So there's only one, two, three electrolytics that really require replacing. And actually... This is quite interesting. Up here, there's a little fuse. So that's really nice to see. And that's right next to the power supply switch, which is located just here. So with a little bit of gentle persuasion, we can indeed remove that lid. Look how beautiful and shiny it is on the inside versus that rusty, rusty patinaed look on the outside. And then in here, is the VIC chip. Again, another MOS chip. It's a relatively simple PCB. All right, I'll go ahead and get these capacitors replaced. We'll reassemble this and let's play some games with some friends. Hey, and there it is, folks. Look at that. I am absolutely ready now. <laughs> 
absolutely ready to do some Twitch streaming this evening. Now, somebody said, if I do um, shift run stop, there we go. It says load, press play on tape. So then I can load the tape in the tape machine over here on the right hand side. And we can play games to our heart's content tonight on a live Twitch stream and make all of our friends and supporters happy. So it is Friday night, it is Twitch stream night, and tonight we're going to stream the VIC-20. Beginning of the stream, always get a little bit nervous. A few people in the chitter chatter area already having a little chin wag. Let's, uh, let's get this stream started. Hello everyone, and welcome, and welcome to the Friday night Dubious Engineering Twitch stream. I'm getting bigger on the screen. Hello! Hope you're all doing well. We've got some fantastic people in the chat room already. Thanks for joining us tonight. Tonight, Matthew. <laughs> tonight, we are going to be playing an original Commodore VIC-20. So I'm just going to grab the um, top deck camera here and show you it. It is running through... Uh, a little high def um, converter, and it's going to one of those Elgato devices. So yeah, uh, and we have, and and you know what, you know what, we've got some proper nostalgia this evening. We are going to be playing games from tape. <laughs> now, someone taught me a little tip the other day. If I um, if I press a shift and run stop. Happily, the Commodore Vic Twenty then says, "Load, press any, press any, press, press any key, press. Where's the any key? Press, <laughs> press play on tape. So let's press play on tape. So it's clearly recognised that I've now pressed the play button on the cassette machine, and it is now searching. So it's going past the leader on the on the cassette, and it's going to get into the magnetic section of the cassette, and it's going to start downloading." Um, all of that wonderful screamy ee, 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 ee. and that's actually that's one thing that I will say about the Commodore VIC-20 is unlike the Acorn Electron and various other computers uh, uh, of our past years they used to play the the sound of the loading um, through the speaker and even on on the spectrum and it was um, <laughs> A nostalgic sound, shall we say? It <laughs> it was an annoying nostalgic sound. Anyway, we have downloaded Vegas Jackpot, and look at that. To be fair, in the time that it took me, I mean, you know, in the time that it took me to talk about it, um, it's it's already loaded. Uh, here we go. Look at this. Press F7 to start. Look at the clarity. Okay, let's press F7 to start on the Vic 20. Here it goes. The reels are a rolling. Beep, beep, beep. We've got cherries. We've got a tomato, orange, maybe a bell and a diamond, I think, maybe. Yep, this is about as exciting as it's going to get, folks. <laughs> the tension is unbearable. I didn't even know what I was doing. Oh, I think the top, the top, ah, there, ooh, ooh, hi there. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, I see where we're going now. Oh, this is, this is totally not what I was expecting. Let's, let's do this some more. I like this. This is good. This is good. I tell you what, it's it's quite epic. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna play this until I get bricked in. Oh, which might happen any moment. Oh, I was lucky. Man, that was lucky. Yeah, I think this 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 needs to be speed five. I'm totally, totally with Lee on this. Boom. I am properly mashing the keys on No 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 Oh that was close. No 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 Ah <laughs> that was close. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> oh, yes. 
No. 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 Oh, made it. Made it, made it, made it, made it. Oh, wow. So, ooh, why? Ah, uh, right, okay. Uh, there we go. Ooh, okay. So, when you start going in one direction, you have to keep going. You don't get the opportunity to go... Um, what have you got to do? I think you've got to, you've got to hit those brown poles. Uh, if you hit, if you hit a flag, is that a bad thing? I don't know, but I'm going for the brown poles. I think normally you'd have to try and get between the poles. Here we go. Level of difficulty two. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. That's my motorcycle. Oh, this isn't looking terrible. This is looking okay. This is looking okay. I think I can handle this. Yeah, as, that, that, uh, that, that, uh, that is pretty, Oh, curb. Come on now. Here we go. Here we go. Easy. 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 Look ahead. Look ahead. There we go. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh my god, I'm good. Oh, oh, wow, 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 that, that isn't easy. Oh, curb, I forgot about the curb! I forgot about the curb! I don't know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But I could say something like, Jerusha, oh, Jerusha. Um, right, so, let me, let me shut down a VIC-20. <laughs> so what do you think then? That was absolute bags of fun, playing the Commodore VIC-20 live on Twitch with a whole bunch of viewers was really quite an interesting experience. Please give us a good old thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, people. Cheers and beers. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye for now.